we will understand what is data driven testing what is data driven testing that means for example let us say i have one functionality here so what is this functionality so if you look at i wanted to register a customer let's say i wanted to register testing 01 is my first name and then lata is my last name and then there is a phone number and then abc at the rate of gmail.com is my email id and then address line one <coughs> city hyderabad and state telangana and then postal code five lakh 48 and then country india and i am giving a username and password let's say i am giving the username as test 01 and the password is mercury m e s c r u m e r c u r y m e r c u r y is my password okay and then click on submit button and click on once that is done see this is registered so now if i have to do it one more time again what i have to do i have to go to register page and then i have to fill all the required details for the next user so let's say if somebody gives you data in a excel file let's say this is my employee data emp data is my workbook name so if you see here you have first name, last name, phone number, email, address, city, state, postal code, country, username, password, and confirm password. Now I have to do it for all these three records. Then what you are going to do? So manually you have to enter one by one user and then submit the details. So instead of doing that, you can make use of this Excel sheet, which is your test data sheet. For first test case, you are going to make use of this data. Second test case, you are going to make use of this data. Third test case, you are going to make use of this data. So this kind of testing, when the functionality is same, registration is the functionality. If the functionality is the same and only the data is changing, that kind of testing, we call it as data-driven testing. That means without changing the functionality, you are trying to reiterate the same script multiple times that we call it as data driven testing okay so without changing the data you will run the same script for multiple sets of data that we call it as data driven testing so here what are you going to use you are going to use either excel file which is .xls extension or the new version is .xls x version. So if you see here, you'll be able to see that is, which is 97 to 2003, those we call it as .xls extensions. After that, you will be calling it as .xls x versions. So let me open and show you one example. Let's say if I open an Excel file and if I am trying to save it as Let's say save as. So if you use Excel workbook, it is the new workbook. What you're going to do is you're going to have it as demo. And I'll keep it in the same folder, D drive, and then test data demo, and then save it. So now if you look at the demo file is XLS X file. So if at all you wanted to have the same demo with XLS extension, what you have to do is you go to the same file one more time. <clears throat> See, this is my demo file. Go to file, save as Excel 97 to 2003 and click on save. Then what is going to happen? See, there is one more demo, which is dot xls file so now if you wanted to use your automation if you wanted to use selenium web driver to access this data or if you wanted to create spreadsheets with dot xls or dot xls extension you are going to make use of apache poi so apache poi poi stands for 
poor uh, poor upstation implementation which is a java api which consists of the libraries which will help you to make use of the external jar files and you can access or manipulate the data in the xls files and dot xls x files that means you can make use of apache poi which is a third party jars and then you can access create excels or you can uh, read the excel data or you can rename the data you can rename the files whatever you wanted to do all the operations you can do it so today what we are going to do is we are going to create a maven project and in eclipse and then configure apache poi by taking the respective dependencies so what i'm going to do is i'll go to my eclipse and then go to file new project and i'll create a maven project create a maven project click on next and then what i'm going to do is select the checkbox and then click on next and here excel demo and then i'm giving it as maven example okay you can do the same thing with a regular java project also that we will see in the other videos okay now click on finish so now let's see your x uh, your maven project is going to be created once that is created you can go and see the respective folders are created so i'm going to create one package under test src test i'm going to create a package called form dot excel demo dot and then click on finish now if i have to work with excel files what i have to do is i have to update the respective dependencies in my form dot xml for that what you have to do is you have to go and add the dependencies add the dependencies enter and to take the dependencies what you have to do is you have to go to maven dependency go here and in this you are going to type apache py apache py and here you can take the apache py the third one you can take and then take the latest version that is 4.1.2 and then see you have py ovo xml schemas and you will have one more also you can you need to take all of them but for now i'll take the common one that is py let's see here there is a py so what did i do so you have to go to your maven dependencies apache py go to apache py common and then go to the latest version if you wanted to take the stable version see there are two eight users you have used they have used go to 5.2.3 and then take the dependency copy and then keep it in the dependencies and save it so now your setup is ready to access the excel and xls x files so what are we going to do with that so before we go there first you need to understand how your excel is going to work and what are all the various names you need to know from excel so if you look at every excel whatever the excel you are creating so this emp data we call it as excel workbook but for example if i open a new excel also that will be a new workbook let's say if i open a new excel see the name of this is book one so this is my book one similarly your emp data is also the workbook for emp data and by default it has three sheets sheet one sheet two sheet three so if you wanted to rename this right click and then rename and then test data you can rename whatever the name you wanted to give the same thing they have done for this sheet so now once you understand the workbook under a workbook you will have various sheets after that you will be having rows these are all called rows of the excel and these are all called columns of the excel so if you understand these then you will be able to 
understand how you are going to make use of this Excel workbook in the Selenium web driver. And this part we call it as cell. So this is called a cell position. So if you look at row one and column one, so this position we call it as one comma one position. And if at all you take this one, this is under first row and then column D. Column D means one, two, three, four. That means this position will be one comma four. Always you need to represent the row first and then you are going to represent the column next. So this is how you are going to access the elements from the Excel. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create a sample script. So what we are going to do is once you save this, go and create a new class. Right click and then new class. And here you are going to create write create create Excel. That is what I am going to create now. I want to create a new Excel file. So click on public static void main checkbox and then finish. So before we go there, first we need to understand, understand what interfaces we have and what classes we have by default on the PY. So if you look at the first one is workbook. In a workbook, you will have sheet. In a sheet, you will have row and then uh, you will have cells. So if you wanted to create XLS file, you have to use HSSF workbook class. If at all you wanted to use XLSX class, you have to use XSSF workbook. Similarly, if you wanted to make use of a sheet for .XLS, you have to use which starts with HSSF sheet. If it is a row, HSSF row. If it is a cell, HSSF cell. So what are these classes? These classes are default, by default provided by your Apache PY. So how are we going to do that? First, as I told you, first, you need to have a workbook. 